Now I'm mixing it in and it's already clumping together as you can see. Yeah, look at that. Hey guys, so today we are going to be making slime. Now, hold on a minute before you say anything. Yes, making slime. It's not like that green horrible slime that you think of, like toxic barrel slime. No. Like, so I've seen a few YouTubers do it and whenever they make it, it looks so fun and then somehow I got onto the track of slime makers so I started following some Instagrams where they make slime and some YouTubes where they make slime and I was like hey you know what I'm gonna give it a go and also I could not think of anything else to do this week for this week's video because I am not typically a creative person I'm bad at coming up with ideas so yeah that is today's video I hope you enjoy right let's get into slime making so as I've seen um, people have made like just the classic normal slime not all the other slimes that look really cool like metallic slime or fishbowl slime or like unicorns poop slime just normal slime is what I'm going to be making because I'm not that fancy. Oh, I love, I'd love to make loads of cool fancy slimes, but yeah. First of all, we're just going to start off with the basics. Start off with the basics. I'm just giving it a go, giving it a try. So yeah, as you see in actual slime makers videos, they have like Elmer's glue. <laughs> Most of them are American for one thing, but then also they might have money. I don't have money. And also Elmer's glue would be really hard to find in the UK. So I'm literally just using some, so I'm literally just using some Tesco's, is this Tesco's? Yeah, Tesco's like PVA bottle of glue thing, because it's cheap. And I'm sure it'll work just as fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. So, we're gonna get a bowl, a bowl, and we're gonna pour in the glue, and that's where you start, basically. Now, I have made some glue, some slime. I'm, this is not my first time. I've made other slime, at least I've tried to. And this is the first one I'm filming on video. So I do not have much of my tub left. So I'm just gonna pour in the rest of it. Just literally pouring in the rest. And we'll just make as much as there is. All right, so we finished with the glue. So we'll put the glue to one side. And now we'll add the food coloring. Yes the food coloring. So, I bought, along with the borax and the other stuff that you need to make slime, I bought some PME paste colors. Can, can, does it, will it focus, will it focus? Yeah? Okay. Wait for it to focus back on me. Yep, yeah, okay. So, I got these paste colours, and because I wanted to be really professional. Also, the natural food colouring that you get in like Tesco's and stuff in the UK does not colour things very well. You end up having to use loads of it, and it's just, yeah, it's just not good. So, for the slime I'm making today, I want to do it light blue. So, get the blue, f blue food colouring and a toothpick because we're going to do this just like the slime, slime tubers. I don't know what they're actually called. People that make slime. 
but yeah, we're gonna do it just like they do. So, you get your toothpick, and you get your thing, and then you get it like this, and you stir it in. Stir it into the glue, and it makes it blue. I'm a genius. Now, there is quite a bit of, um, quite a bit of the colouring in the lid, and I do want this to be quite blue, I don't want it to be really pale, so I'm gonna get that bit as well. That did not work. Never mind. Oh god. Well, I already had blue hands, but look, like, I've just got blue everywhere now. Oh, this is so pigmented. Oh my god. Literally, just, I have blue everywhere now. This is gonna be fun. Actually, though, I am actually looking forward to it. Right, so, now I need to dispose of the evidence. No. Uh, I need to get rid of the toothpick, because, like, I don't want to just put it on the table, because it will ruin the table. So, yeah. I'll be back in a second. Wow, and the toothpick is gone! No, oh my god, the power of editing saves time, so much time. I also got some tea towels because, you know, in case I make a mess, I need to clear it up. So we're gonna stir the slime and make it all blue. Okay, see what I mean? The 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 food coloring. I can speak English. The food coloring is really pigmented, so this has become really blue. So we're also because I'm extra. We're going to be adding some glitter. Now for this one, I want to add the the bluish glitter. Now there are two blues, but one one's more of a turquoisey blue and I'm going for more of a baby blue, so I'm gonna be using this glitter. Shake it in. Ooh, yes, so pretty. If only I knew how to set up my camera like the slime YouTubers do, where they like face it downwards so you can see what you're doing with your hands, because I'm sure that'd be more interesting to you rather than seeing my face. Because you can't actually see what I'm doing, and the whole purpose of this video is me making slime. So yeah. Maybe that's something I'll have to do next time if I make some more slime. But yes, also, let's talk about the setting here. Oh my god. Right, so there is literally nowhere good in my house to set up this camera. Also at a table for me to do this. So I had to bring in a table and put it here, but then I've got my DVDs all behind me. But it's like, I couldn't have done it in my room because that's where my bed is. And like, I can't exactly make this on my bed because I would have ended up spilling it or something. I just know I would. And then, literally, this was the only other place I could think of. So yeah, my setting, my background, it's not very good. I just needed a plain wall, but no, I don't have anywhere in my house that's like that. Anyway, so we're mixing in the glitter now. And the glitter's like pretty much almost disappeared actually. <laughs> Literally, like I put it, I thought I put in quite a lot of glitter, but like why do I keep attempting to do this? It's not gonna work out well. I'm trying to show the camera the glue. Can 
can you see it at all? No. Right, well basically, there's not a lot of glitter. So, I'm gonna add more. So, I'm going to add some white this time. And, because I am so extra, if I can get it out, I'm going to add some silver. And again, I have glitter all over myself. Anyway, so we're going to mix these in as well, and hopefully it will be even more majestic and magical. Alright, that'll do, because otherwise there'll be too much glitter and it'll just fall out on your hands. So yeah. Anyway, so now that we've done that, we're going to add some foam because I want it to be fluffy, fluffy slime. So we got some shaving foam, Gillette shaving foam. And I'm just going to squirt it in. And that should be enough, I think. And we're also going to add some foaming hand wash thing. It's not actually hand wash, it's like body wash, but it makes it smell nice. Not adding that much, just the tiniest bit. Just the tiniest, tiniest bit. And then, uh, we're also gonna add some, uh, like, hand uh, moisturizer. This will make it stretchy. And we're going to add some baby oil, Johnson's baby oil, because this will make it less sticky. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna mix it all in. And the col some of the colour's going to go, because I've just added more stuff. But it's already looking quite um, slimy. Even though I haven't even added the activator yet, because like I'm adding all the other stuff first. It looks slimy because of the um, foam. See, this is what I mean. I I'm glad that I separated the glue, because like this is definitely enough. Definitely. Right, so the final step in the process is adding the activator. Now the activator I'm using is the borax, so I'm doing the borax method because um, I did try like the Optifree like um, contact solution, did not work for me at all. It just curdled it and it didn't work, no, just no. So yeah, so I mixed about a teaspoon of borax with a load of water because I wanted it to be weak so that it, like, so you didn't add too much all at once and then it became too hard to play with. So yeah, we're just going to add a bit at a time and we'll see how it goes. All right, now I'm mixing it in and it's already clumping together as you can see. Yeah, look at that. So we're just gonna keep mixing, mixing this all together and it will collect from the sides of the bowl as well, which is always good.
Oh, it smells nice. Ooh. <laughs> Got it a bit on the edge of the bowl. Right. So this is coming together. Got to keep stirring it. Oh, all the glitter at the bottom. All of it. So, as you can see, the slime has come together. I'm going to try touching it. Oh, it's a bit sticky, so I might add a bit more um, of the baby oil. A bit more of the baby oil. I look so washed out, but I'm not refilming this, so oh well. So I've added a bit more of the baby oil, and we're gonna stir that in, and that should make it a little less sticky. But it does also like, make it look a little shinier, which is a bit sad, but what can you do? Right, so we're going to take the slime off the stick that I'm using to stir it because I did. I don't want to put my hands in straight away. Yeah. Now we're gonna take it in our hands and start like kneading it with our hands just to give it that like slime consistency so keep mixing it in I was trying to give the sounds next to the thing, but it kind of doesn't work. But we'll see if we can get it to focus on the slime that I've made. So, will it focus? Nope, but it does stretch and go down. Will it focus? Yes! Alright, so it may not look as magical as you thought it did, but it's still good slime. Can you see the shines? Can you see the glimmer? Yeah. It does make that sound. But yeah! So, this is my slime doing that, trying to do that thing. You know, well you probably don't know because probably most of you don't watch like slime Instagrams and stuff, but you know when they swirl it and they take the picture of it? Well this is how they do it, I'm pretty sure. 
I've done it a few times. So yeah, I'm trying to make a pretty thing. You'll see it in the thumbnail anyway, so yeah. And if it doesn't turn out well, I'll just use one off the internet. The truth. I've been exposed. It's the truth behind everything. Alright, so let's try it now. So you wrap it round. This isn't as good because I'm doing it on my hand. Yeah. Never mind, you'll just see it in the thumbnail. I might put a picture of it here. Yeah, that was it basically. So this has been me making slime. If you wanna see any other types of slime be made, comment. I doubt anyone will comment, but if you do share my interest in slime, comment what kind of slime you'd like me to make down below. Uh, so yeah, this has been me. Squally Bear 13, Squally Cross, uh, making slime, and this was the outcome. I think it turned out pretty well. Do you think it turned out pretty well? I think it did. This is definitely slime. Like, it just is. I don't know why you would try and say that it's not slime, but... Ugh. Well... That was fun. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. If you did like the video, um, then you could always maybe subscribe. Would mean a lot. I want more subscribers. Okay. Uh, then there's also, if you liked the video, like the video. Okay. Uh, yeah, so click the like button down below, show that you're a true friend, and also, um, what I want to start doing is, it, when people press the notification bell, which is next to subscribe, um, if they comment hashtag notification fam down below, I will screenshot your um, comment and I will put you in the next video. Anyway, so, this has been me. I have made slime. I think it's pretty decent slime to say that this is like, what, my third time making slime? Maybe next time I'll have like the Elmer's glue. Oh, I could do a clear one. Metallic, ah, oh, metallic slime. So yeah, if there is an idea that you want doing, comment down below. If not, oh well. This has been me, this is the end of the video, hope you enjoyed. You can leave now, because I'm done. This has been very cringy, I am sorry. The backdrop was horrible, bye!